The first six months were really hard for me. The baby wasn't sleeping well, so sometimes I slept with him on my chest. Sometimes the baby would cry for hours, and it seemed like the only way that I could get some rest was to bring the baby into the bed with me. I was always sure to practice a sleep, making sure that my child was alone, on their back, and in the crib. And I also assumed that everyone else knew these tips, but that's not always the case. Safe sleep is important to me because my child should be here today. My nine-month-old Hattie uh, was dropped off at daycare and I was not able to pick her up because she passed away there. She had been put down for a nap in a pack and play with no blankets, but there was a blanket within her reach um, that she pulled into the pack and play with her and she was found with it wrapped all the way around her head. She was nine months old and she was almost walking, crawling, turning over. Um, so when they told me that, I just didn't believe it. My daycare worker did know the rules um, and I just think it's so important to realize that it just takes one time of not following a rule for something to happen. As a practicing pediatrician, I know the importance of practicing safe sleep. I've seen the devastation that can happen when a baby dies due to an unsafe sleep practice. It's important that everyone who takes care of your baby understands why it's important to practice safe sleep. That means your babysitters, daycare providers, your relatives, your aunts, your mother and father, and your significant other. Everyone needs to understand the importance of practicing safe sleep. This may be something different than actually when you were younger and how you were put to bed um, and how you were told that you slept and it was okay. But we've learned a whole lot more and we know now some things that can help prevent this from happening. When my son was about three months old, we were sitting up on the couch reading a story and I fell asleep. He rolled out of my arms and went in between the couch cushions. I thought I would wake up because I thought I had kind of the super mom instinct that I would know, I would feel when he moved, I would feel when I was falling asleep, but I was tired. That wasn't the case. A death could have happened, a death could have occurred, but it didn't. Um, I'm very blessed that he did not pass away. And I think that this is something that can happen to anyone. Not only could a parent do it, but a cousin, like a babysitter, anyone could just simply sit down on the couch with the child and fall asleep. In the United States alone, over 4,000 babies died last year due to unsafe sleep. In Michigan, that number is 800 babies that died due to unsafe sleep. These are our babies that are dying. And we can do something to make this not happen by simply understanding and practicing and getting the word out to everybody about practicing safe sleep. Hi, my name is Monique Ostell, and I teach safe sleep to families. I know you can do this and I want to share some basic guidelines to safe sleep and why they matter. One of the guidelines is that babies sleep alone. I know that might sound cold, but what we mean by that is room share, not bed share. Babies should have their own four sides, never sharing a bed with an adult or another child. Babies should sleep alone because we want them to have their own space to breathe. Another guideline is that we keep baby's sleep space free and clear of any items, such as bumper pants, blankets, and stuffed animals. Even though these things might seem cute, they're not safe. We want babies to have room to breathe clean air. Babies should sleep alone in a sleep sack or a onesie. I know this might seem strange not using a blanket. We don't want to use a blanket because of overheating and the risk of suffocation. Another guideline is that babies sleep on their backs. Babies are less likely to choke on their backs than on their tummies. 
on their tummies, their heart rate lowers, and if they spit up, they're more likely to choke. We recommend that a baby's sleep space has its own four sides, like a bassinet, pack and play, or crib. We also recommend that you use a firm mattress with a tightly fitted sheet. Couches and babies just don't mix. We don't recommend recliner chairs either. Recliner chairs and couches are soft and cushy, and we often fall asleep while on them. Babies can fall and become entrapped and suffocate. Be aware of your baby's environment. Smoking around babies is just not safe. If you need to smoke, smoke outside of your home and away from your baby. We all need to practice safe sleep. If you see a baby sleeping unsafe, please say something. I don't know a parent that doesn't need a helping hand, and we're all in this together. If you or someone you know is pregnant, call 269-888-KIDS. It takes a community to make sure every baby is sleeping safely.